Hello there and welcome to my Starship Emporium. Let's talk about No Man's Sky ships in 2023. What they are and what's the difference between them? As we know in No Man's Sky the only real way to get around is in a starship. We all start with a lovely little fighter called the Radiant Pillar BC-1. There are many many more to find and discover however. First question then, how many types of ships are there? There are eight types of ships in the game. Fighters, haulers, explorers, shuttles, solar ships, sentinel interceptors, living ships and exotic ships. They're all amazing in their own way and they all have their own specialities. But where, you ask, can we find all these ships? They can be found in different systems. Simply warp to another star system of your choice and you'll come across 21 brand new ones. Every ship is unique and the number of different types of ship in a system depends on the life form that is dominant in that system. Every normal system has the following ships. Seven shuttles, three fighters, three explorers, three haulers and four more based on that dominant race. So the four extra you get are in a Viking system it's fighters, Kovac system it's explorers and Gek system it's haulers. So, in a Viking system, in total you'll get seven fighters spawn in. Every system also has an exotic ship, but whether you see it is a completely different matter. They spawn in infrequently and you may never see it, but it is there if you wait long enough. As well as normal systems, we have pirate and outlaw systems. These pirate dens are similar to normal systems, except that shuttles can be completely replaced with solar ships. These are a great style addition to the game and everyone needs a gentleman sausage in their collection. Solar ships can be found in normal systems as up to three of the shuttles could be replaced by solars, but not always. Okay, but what about these new sentinel interceptors? These fantastic beasties are found in dissonant systems. Here there are one or maybe two dissonant planets. And with the use of echolocators or dreadnought AI fragments, you can scan for the sentinel ship locations. There is only ever one design of sentinel ship per system, but the stats, class and supercharged slots change depending on their location on the planet. So how do we go about finding the best ships? Does the economy of a system make a difference? Yes, each system has a T1, 2 or 3 economy denoted by the stars on the galaxy map info, and the chances of spawning S-class ships depends on the economy. In a T1 system there's a 0% chance of getting an S-class ship, in a T2 system a 1% chance, in a T3 a 2% chance. In outlaw systems there's a 5% chance of finding an S-class ship. Hunting in T3 or pirate systems gives the best chance to grab that S-class ship but it may still take a while for it to come in. S-Class you say though, what on earth is S-Class? Each ship has a class that determines how good the base stats are. There's four classes, C, B, A and S, with C being the lowest, S being the highest. The class limits how high the stats of a ship can go and how much inventory space it can have when you find it. The higher the class you find, the higher the price will be, but it's better from the very beginning. The class of a ship can be upgraded with nanites. You'll need a lot, mind you, but if you do have a lot, it's quicker and sometimes better because of the original base stat percentage to buy a lower class ship and upgrade it. Inventory. Ships also have three tiers of inventory, T1, 2 and 3 again, and the base number of slots increases and depends on the ship type. For example, an S-class T3 hauler can be found with up to 48 cargo slots out in the wild. Okay, so we've looked at the numbers, which should I get? Well, they all have their benefits, apart from maybe shuttles. Not much going on here, they can never be better than T2, meaning you'll never get more than 36 cargo slots, that's less than a fighter. But they are great value for money early in the game. Early on you can haul a lot more than your starter ship for not too much cash. The first rung on the ladder, let's say. They also have the most amount of parts available, so variation is amazing, but they're not really that good looking. Explorers. 
These come with the highest and best hyperdrive range, up to 181 on an S-Class. If you're looking to jump around the galaxy a lot, then the Explorer is the way to go. They can look really nice as well. However, they're not the best in combat, so I'd stay away from that dogfight. Haulers. These are great for moving and protecting all your precious stuff. Lots of inventory, great shields. They are, however, extortionately expensive. Fighters. As the name says, these are the best for space battles. Great damage and maneuverability, but watch out, those shields are flaky and the jump range is absolutely rubbish. But they have some lovely part combinations and can look really, really nice. Solar ships. These, as we said, mostly found in pirate systems, are great all-rounders. They start off with even stats, but higher than average than other ships and are upgradable to be great flyers. They're retro-styled and, again, not bad value for money. Sentinel Interceptors, the latest ship type and they come in some amazing new colours and with plenty of parts to find. They are akin to fighters in the stat department, but they've got better shields. Oh, and they can hover? Exotics, every system has one and they always spawn as an S-Class. They're hard to find and come in three different types. The squids, guppies and royal guppies. Similar to solar ships in that they're great all-rounders, but they start at the top end as they always come in as S-Class. They're on the pricey side, but are a special prize for those that find them. Finally, living ships. These are now great alternatives to regular mechanical ships, and again, good all-rounders. Flowery Squirrel is the expert on living ships, so jump over there to learn more. All the ships in the game are made up of a set of component parts. Fighters include Alphas, Raza, Hot Rod Noses, with Droid, Mecha, Wings and many more. Explorers can have Hopper or Fire Spray fuselages with a different array of wings. Haulers, the big ones, have Mac or Cab or Turret cockpits with a great array of cargo additions. Solars are made up of a fuselage, wings, wingtips and sails. There's some really lovely ones out there. Sentinel Interceptors have a standard small fuselage that can have some great wings and skirt additions, different heads and legs. The animations when they take off on land can be stunning. Oh, and did I say that they hover? Exotics are of three types. Squids that come in an array of wonderful colours. Guppies and Royal Guppies that have different wings, engines, noses and tails. Shuttles, the poor siblings, have the most component parts but I think they need a bit of a makeover. You can find all the parts and their names by visiting the No Man's Sky wiki. I've linked it down below in the description. So that's the ships, their stats and their bits. But upgrades? We've mentioned it, but what can we upgrade? Well, depending on the ship class, you can expand your storage using Starship storage augmentations or units. And again, depending on the class of your ship, you can upgrade the stats by buying technology upgrades. Both of these can be done on space stations. Using this Starship Outfitter station, you can upgrade both your class and storage. Class can be upgraded with nanites and storage with units or storage augmentations. These augmentations can be gathered by scrapping other ships, found on freighter crash sites or from frigate expeditions. The price of both storage slots and class increases every time you buy one, so it, it does really get rather expensive. Once you're at your desired class and inventory size, you can head to the Starship Salesman and look for technology upgrades. These also come in class with S giving the best numbers. Just spend your hard-earned nanites and install the upgrades adjacent to the tech you're upgrading. You can have three upgrades per tech system, any more and they turn red and doesn't add anything. Adjacency is important, so swap them around to see which combination gives you the best numbers. We now also have supercharged slots. These are special slots in your tech inventory area that have a purple background. When tech upgrades are placed in these slots, the stats get an extra bonus added, making them even better. Mixing good adjacency with keen supercharged slot use, you can gain some mighty results. So that's how we upgrade. There's a lot more detail that we could go into, but for now, this is a great overview of what ships are all about. 
With all that in mind, you need to think about what you want from your ship. Then head out into the black, looking for the right races system at the right economy level to find the highest chances of getting a ship that best suits you. I hope that's answered any questions you might have. If not, ask away in the comments and head over to the Discord, again, link down below, to chat all about ships. And if you've watched this far, you must have liked the video, so why not smash those like and subscribe buttons for even more Starship goodness. With that, I'd like to thank you all for stopping by, and I'll see you next time.